it is your boy j figs back with another video man and in today's video guys i got the brand new aew unrivaled target exclusive adam cole figure here this figure wasn't supposed to come out for a while i'm pretty sure it came out for pre-order like last month i actually found two of them in the store i had to pick them up wanted to do a review adam cole is one of my favorite wrestlers arguably my favorite wrestler of all time enough talking guys let's get right into the unboxing now i'm not gonna open both today i'm just gonna open this one right here because this one has the worst packaging but here's the back of the box just a big picture of adam cole with his signature there uh, watch dynamite rampage nothing too crazy i do like the metallic red that they use on the target exclusives here for the AEW figures adam cole right there on the front of the box here is the figure in the box unrivaled as you guys can see now let's get right into unboxing this man let's go now you guys already know the drill man you guys know what's up trusty bape knife boys let's get it oh, whoa! Now this box is actually in worse shape than this one. That is why I'm going to be opening this one today for you guys. But uh, yeah, going to fast forward it, obviously. Now guys, here is the figure finally all out of the packaging. And before I do go ahead and get into some better detail, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the accessories that come with the figure. So let's get into that really quickly, guys. Let's go. Now to start off, Adam Cole comes with this awesome black and red entrance jacket. Man, I absolutely love this one. It says Adam Cole right there on the sleeves. On the back, it says Bay Bay. Bebe there as well has his little signature hand pose thing that he does on his entrance this is super nice man like okay sculpts here as you guys can see sculpted there on like the wrist part of the jacket right here too has like some uh has some more texture there some more sculpts zippers right here on the front ac Bebe adam cole Bebe right there Bebe in the front again uh, i love this man black and red looks super awesome it's super bright super vibrant though i really do like it it looks great on and off the figure uh, but yeah, guys, let's move on to the next accessory, which is just this black elbow pad that he comes with. Uh, yeah, just nothing too crazy. Just a solid black elbow pad. And he does actually come with a plethora of interchangeable hands. Here are the microphone holding hands that uh, Adam Cole comes with. Uh, nothing too crazy. Pretty basic. And uh, these are also kind of like microphone holding hands, I guess. They're not as tight of a grip. Uh, a little bit looser, I guess you can call these. They're uh, choke slam hands, I guess. And uh, on the figure, he obviously comes with those two, like Adam Cole Bebe hands. But uh, yeah, guys, let's take a closer look at the figure now. Let's go. Now, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Adam Cole here. Uh, he comes with this black and red gear. AC on the knee pad. Bebe right there on the other knee pad. AC right there on the front of the gear. Back of the gear has his signature hand pose. And Bebe on the butt cheeks. Hit it from the back. Pause. <laughs> Uh, here's the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty damn good. I think they got the likeness for Adam Cole uh, to a T, man. It looks super, super nice from far away. I mean, just just looks awesome. Obviously, it's not the true effects that we got with Mattel. That's obviously like another level. But uh, for being jazz words, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they have terrible head sculpts. I think they did a crazy job with this Adam Cole here. Uh, it looks pretty good, man. The hair is nice. Everything is pretty good about this figure. I think the only thing wrong with this figure is the formula. They just, I don't know, man. They they sold. The arms are too long. The skin tones are off, as you can see there. It's like way more pale than the stomach here and the arms. The legs are too short and just thick and fat. Uh, I don't know, man. I think this looks pretty weird uh, for Adam Cole. I brought up some other comparisons here for the end of the video. But uh, yeah, here's his tattoo. Uh, I mean, nothing too crazy there. Just a tattoo. Has the black wrist tape as well. Double jointed arms, obviously. It's just some solid black boots there with small AC logos. Uh, I don't really like that. I think the logo should have been a little bit bigger. I'm not sure how they were in person. But, uh, man, that's too damn small. Look at that. From far, you can barely see it. It's super tiny. But, uh, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the comparisons. But yeah, guys, getting into the comparisons now, here's one last look at the Adam Cole. I just want you guys to take a long look at this figure so you guys get a good idea of what I'm working with here with the uh, unrivaled AEW figure. So let's throw that down real quick. Here is the, I believe this is Elite 92 Adam Cole. This is the base figure. This is not like the uh, Chase variant that I do have here. But I'll tell you what, this gear is actually like the best thing I could compare it to because it's literally like identical. It has the same front gear as you guys can see there, same design with the squares and the lines on the back. It says Bebe, and then I think uh, it has like the symbols here on the side, not not so much the back there. But this is like the closest thing I can compare it to uh, with the Mattel version. Uh, obviously, Mattel's is way better. The the formula is way better. The head sculpt is clear. No design on the boots, and they use way worse uh, knee pads. Now, here's actually one of the earlier Adam Cole figures that Mattel released in the three pack with the Undisputed Era. 
Uh, this is like fairly, fairly similar. The head sculpts are kind of similar in the expression, but I think still Mattel just clears them with the true effects. Looks way, way better. The hair, I, I'll actually give the hair to uh, Jazzwares here. I think it flows much better. Adam Cole is just one solid piece, and I think it looks pretty ugly. But in terms of head sculpt, uh, they're pretty similar in the expression, and I think Mattel just clears it. looks way more like Adam Cole. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for comparisons, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video now. Let's go. All right, guys, before I do go ahead and wrap up the video, I do want to say that, that I think if you're just going to be displaying this figure with the jacket and like all the accessories, I think it looks fine. It looks perfect. It, there's literally no flaws, I think. But if you're going to be posing it around, if you're going to be fetting with it, if you're going to be using it to like play or whatever, I think this figure definitely needs some work. You can definitely do some part swapping and make this figure way better than it is right now. But if you just plan on displaying it with this beautiful jacket, I think there's absolutely no faults with the figure. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that I do have this CM Punk figure here. And CM Punk is around 6'1", 6'2". And Adam Cole is about, I think, just six foot. If you compare them together, uh, CM Punk is just way taller than Adam Cole. So I think the problem with the figure is not so much the torso. I think it's just the legs and the crotch piece that they use. Because look look at CM Punk's. It's way thinner. And I think uh, CM Punk is way fatter than Adam Cole. Uh, Adam Cole's uh, crotch piece there is way, way larger. It's way fatter. And his thighs are way bigger and shorter. So I think that's the problem with this figure. It's not so much the torso. It's just that the crotch piece and the legs are just way, way out of scale. And they're not accurate to what Adam Cole really is uh, in, in real life. But uh, yeah, guys, let's wrap up the video, man. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, overall, man, pretty disappointing figure, uh, as you guys just heard. There is some flaws with the figure that I could fix. Maybe I will eventually work on this figure, you know, fix them up and whatnot. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to just leave it like this, uh, displayed with the jacket. Pretty, pretty bad figure, though, I'm not going to lie. But uh, if you guys are wondering if you guys should pick up this figure or not, I think you should probably not. Unless you're like a big Adam Cole fan like me. Uh, I love Adam Cole. Adam Cole is probably one of my favorites. If not my favorite, like I said earlier. So that's why I decided to pick him up and I wanted to get this video out for you guys. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I already said, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe. And turn on the post notification bell if you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys do enjoy this type of content in general. But uh, yeah, guys, this is going to be it for me today, man. Peace out. Be on the lookout for the next video. It should be a mail call. And I probably will actually have a review up on the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio soon. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it for me. Peace.